What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today I'm gonna show you how to win every single bunker fight you ever get into from now until eternity. All right, you're never gonna lose another fight if you're in a bunker again. That's probably not true but you are definitely gonna be way more effective in your bunker fights in zero build after watching this video, I can promise you that. I'm gonna show you a bunch of expert level tips and tricks with bunkers that a lot of people don't know about and they can definitely win you fights. The more you know about this equipment item and how to use it effectively, the more you're going to win your games. Bunkers are extremely powerful in the end game and you will often get into a lot of short range, close engagement bunker fights and I'm gonna teach you how to win them. Now, I've decided to break this video into two parts. The first part is gonna be explaining all the nasty tricks with bunkers that you need to know to take full advantage of them and win more bunker fights. And the second video is gonna be a bunch of examples, real gameplay examples of using those tricks against other players so that you can kind of see them in action. So I highly recommend watching both videos and a link to the next video will be at the end of this video. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. We got Tacos here helping us out with this uh, demonstration. Thank you so much, Tacos, for being here. Really appreciate it. Aww. Aww. Thank you very much, Tacos. Appreciate it. All right. So first off, let's just start talking about general angles and right shoulder peaks with bunkers. Now, bunkers are really interesting because there's so many different angles throughout them. For one, if you're on a bunker and someone's below, you can always peek your right shoulder over. This is the way to shoot people. If you're at the top of the bunker, someone's below you. Also being on top of this, if somebody's against your wall, come over here, Tacos, against your wall. Yeah, yeah. I can shoot him only if I'm right there. So that is kind of like the best spot to be in a bunker when you're up on height and somebody is below you is playing a right shoulder hangover because if they're on your left shoulder like this, I cannot shoot him. I can't do it unless I hang my right shoulder over, right? I can jump up a little bit and sometimes get an angle if he backs up. Otherwise, the better move is probably just right shoulder hangover or right here. And we'll talk about this. This is kind of a power position. So right now, Tacos is in that power position that I talked about, which is really, really strong in these two story fights, right? I can kind of shoot him through this crack, but in most cases, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna roll up to Taco's bunker. I'm gonna think he's up here. I'm gonna play this inside wall thinking I'm safe, right? And you can probably shoot me right now, right? Yep. So he's in a really good spot. Then I go around here and then I still can't really see him very well, right? He's, he can jump over my head. He can use that piece of cover and it just really makes it hard for me to fight him when he's up there. This is what it looks like from my perspective. So go ahead and run along the wall, Tacos. Yep, and then he's kind of got to rotate around if he wants to do anything, in which case we just kind of do that, right? So it's a very, very strong spot to be that top left point of the bunker and then hanging that shoulder over and watching them rotate around. All right, now there are two power positions in a bunker that I, I call power positions, well, maybe three, but one of them I guess is gonna be at this corner. This gives you options. If your enemy wants to jump up and look at this corner right here, they can kind of peek you, right? And it's kind of dangerous. So these corners, these front corners are power positions because you can go left, you can go right, you can climb up, right? The corners are pretty strong, especially if you're low ground, right? You can jump up and actually get shots on your enemy and it's a lot harder for them to hit you than it is for you to hit them. That is a nice power position. Now, another power position is up here on the top left of a bunker. If things go south, you can always just jump out the back of the bunker. You have that option as well, right? So if he's pushing around on me, I just drop out the back and now I'm back here and I can climb right back up. So that's another power position. And I'd say the third power position, which is pretty rare that it's a power position, but it's if someone is in the top of the bunker right here or at the back of the bunker, then the bottom of the bunker is the power position, right? Because right now I can just back up quickly and shoot tacos. It can probably barely see me, right? Can you see me at all tacos? I cannot, no. Okay, let's switch roles. You try it on me. So go into the middle, right? Just below the ramp and you just pop up really quick. Yep, and then it's really hard for me to do anything about that. So if I'm at the top of the ramp, that's a very dangerous spot for my enemy to be. Generally, you just wanna jump out the back of the bunker if they get in that spot, right? Because they have that nice little ability to see you and you cannot see them at all. Now, if they're at the back of the ramp, this is also another power position, right? Because you got the right shoulder right here. And it's actually pretty hard for them to hit you when you're moving across this little thing right here, right? It's like pretty hard angle for them to get on you. They have to kind of time it out. And now you can go around also and get the right shoulder you can play this little spot pretty well, and it's usually your advantage if they're at the back of the bunker. You probably just wanna go above them. So go ahead and get in the bottom of that bunker. The best move is usually to get above them like this, 
and then get around on them in here and play a right shoulder through the door because you don't want to be sitting up on the top of this bunker with them down there and you don't want to be back here trying to take a fight. So generally you want to rotate to a door and try to get the angle right here and you just don't want to be up here where they're going to be able to peek shot you and you don't want to be out here where you have no cover and they've got a right shoulder on you. Yep. It's, it's nasty. All right, next up, you got these doors, right? Very, very helpful to be using these doors when you're on the bottom. You're always trying to rotate for a right shoulder and get that right shoulder advantage. If you find yourself on a left shoulder, you want to just find a way to get the right shoulder. Oftentimes, that means cutting across the bunker by, like, climbing up like this and finding a new right shoulder angle like that. So you can reset your angle, reset the fight by climbing over the bunker at the corner of it. You can only climb at the corner. If you do it at the front, you're going to bounce off the tires and it's going to throw you or if you do the side it's going to bounce off the tires and throw you so climbing up a corner can really uh, reset the fight help you get a new angle and then also just kind of cutting through the bunker through these doorways through the middle of the ramp and you really really want to focus on clean movement when you're moving through these things do not get caught up on stuff otherwise you will die you have a very very little room for error in bunker fights so you got to be really clean with your movement and get through sp spaces fast so right there i caught my edge right there and that could probably get me killed somebody's usually right on your butt in these bunker fights so yeah oh just a quick note you can always stack two bunkers by throwing your other bunker right on the front right corner and that'll stack up your bunker right all right now let's talk about another subject with bunker fights and that is baiting and i call it baiting because you're basically trying to get the enemy to do the thing that you want to do by like making them curious about your whereabouts right so a lot of times i'll just sit at the bottom of a corner of a bunker and just move around until they jump up and become an easy shot something like that, right? That's a bait. That's just getting them to do the thing that you want them to do. And it's fairly common in these bunker fights for people to kind of like think that they have the advantage with high ground or something like that. And you just kind of let them make a mistake, right? So sitting at these corners, you know, you can sprint around, make a lot of footsteps, and then just try to get them into a spot where it's bad news for them. We haven't found it yet. We're going to bust open this door. We're going to go under. And then we're just going to wait. We're going to wait, bait. There we go. There's a bait shot right there. He's curious. And we're taking very safe shots, right? It's just little quick jump ups. And there's not a lot he can do but jump out of the bunker or go down below, in which case we can find a new angle. Oh, really quick. If you're enjoying this video, please consider smashing that like button, body slamming the subscribe button, and gently clicking the notification bell to be alerted every time I drop a new video or go live. Thank you, my friend. Oh. And if you wouldn't mind using code Toby One Shinobi in your Fortnite item shop, I would greatly appreciate that. It helps me and my family more than you will ever know. Thank you so much. Let's talk about bunker rushes. Now, there's a few different ways to rush a bunker, and generally I don't recommend it, but there are times, right, where you just gotta get really aggressive and push someone on a bunker. Now, the easiest way to do so is to climb up this corner and just take this 50-50, right? A lot of people will do that. I don't always recommend it. What I'd recommend instead is running up to the corner and then baiting the shot like that, right? So they, they're gonna peek that and think that you're climbing up, but you actually don't, and you just take a little quick jump shot at them. And a lot of people just know about that already and they'll just watch that corner and they'll get a free shot on you as you come up right it's very easy to line that shot up for him and it takes me a while to pull my gun out so it's dangerous so this is what it looks like right he's got to land onto his feet and basically he's going to get shot in the face one time before his animation finishes so generally speaking i would not push the bunker like that unless i have a health advantage or they're just distracted or something right all right now the next way to push a bunker is with another bunker and there's a fairly advanced trick it's not really advanced but it's just like a unique thing so i call this a bunker counter you throw another bunker at a bunker and the tires on the front of your bunker will actually throw the person at the top of their ramp off see that now if tacos comes over here and tries to get up his ramp it's going to continue to bounce him backwards which is pretty crazy even if you're looking at this bunker you have no idea that there's tires that are going to be pushing you back every time you push this so it puts you at a massive advantage if you're on the right side of the bunker the one who threw it down second and they're going to try to fight you because go ahead try to push me tacos right it throws off his aim it makes it very hard for him to land shots and very easy for me to do so as long as i do not walk over his side and get hit by tires myself 
Another way to do bunker rushes is maybe if the enemy doesn't have a bunker and you throw one down, what they really don't expect a lot of times is you to come flying out of it and just shoot them. You know, as they're rushing up towards the bunker, you usually can get a free shot. Again, this is pretty risky because you have a nice piece of cover. You should probably play it, but sometimes you can catch them by surprise. So go ahead. I throw it. We're having a fight here. I throw down this bunker and I immediately go for this because who would expect someone to jump out of their nice piece of cover and just come right at you, right? All right, so the, another option is the bunker rush. You can jump into another bunker. Just say like, for some reason, I didn't throw my bunker against tacos right now, which I absolutely should. Instead, you know, let's say I throw down a bunker right here. You can immediately sprint up yours and come flying into theirs. And they usually don't expect that as well because it's just too quick. So the key with bunker rushes is you really gotta be quick about it, right? You cannot give the enemy much time to think about what you're doing so if i'm throwing down my bunker right here and i get a two-story right i'm gonna come in quick and try to hit him with a nice shot and then go around the back and now we're on him right now we've got some nice damage and he just wasn't really expecting the push because a lot of times people just do not expect you to throw down your bunker and then just key towards them Bunkers are generally defensive items. People like to hide in them and the offensive move on them is pretty strong, but it's also very risky. There are definitely better ways to use bunkers. Don't always use them offensively, but they are nice to get into another bunker with if you're gonna use them. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is bunker tire bounces. Now, a lot of people hate these tires because they'll be sitting in a bunker, right? And they'll touch the tires and they'll get thrown to their death off a cliff. So you gotta be very, very careful about that. <laughs> Tacos was just talking about that. Even as an advanced player, that kind of stuff can catch you. You can also use these tires though for movement. It's really, really good movement. Say you wanna rotate off of a bunker. A lot of times, if you wanna like get some nice forward momentum coming out, you just walk off the edge and you land into a slide. So that's pretty nice movement right there. And the better way to use these is actually in fights. So if we're out here and we're just taking a straight 50-50, I don't like the odds of this fight. I'd rather secure the win, right? So on my gunshot, let's start fighting. right? You use the tires as a form of mobility or movement, and it really throws your enemy off. It's going to get you in a shotgun fight, which turns into an AR fight, right? If your enemy isn't expecting it, you can slide out, and now you're just tagging him with an AR, and he's got the wrong gun out. So a lot of times it looks natural. Sometimes, though, if you're on high ping or whatever, it will actually teleport your enemy. Like, you won't even be able to see him. For right now, it's smooth, but sometimes people actually... There it is. That's the teleport right there. It looks insane, right? Because it's just like something strange happens with the clamber, and uh, it'll like full on teleport you and you will not be able to see your enemy. So it can be really, really good, especially in a pinch, right? When you just feel like you're down in the fight, you come around, you do something like crazy like this and you're just gonna cut, you know, probably one to two free shots for sure on your enemy, which can really turn the fight around. Now, really quick, I will mention also that there's some interesting angles in bunkers that you can get. Now, it's more dangerous for the person in the bunker, actually, to be in this position when somebody has this angle because you don't realize, but you can get headshot sniped through these little cracks. And uh, it's hard for me to actually hit you right now. But like a lot of times you will catch somebody and you'll be able to shoot through this tiny little crack right here. You can also shoot through these little holes if you had a sniper and for some reason somebody was static and just not moving, right? And you can get shot through those holes as well. So those little holes and these little cracks are pretty dangerous. You just gotta kinda be mindful of them because you can get headshot sniped through them and that'll always take you by surprise. All right, now the last thing I'll talk about is kinda deception and uh, confusion with bunkers. A lot of times it's gonna come down to moving around really quick, you know, being crazy, getting them to chase you, and then you go slow, right? And then you just slow down the fight. They kind of lose you. They don't know where you're at because there's a lot of angles with bunkers that could be in a lot of spots. Even though it's pretty small, there's a lot of places that they could be, especially with two stories like this. You know, there's a lot of places that your enemy really can go. They could be under the ramp. They could be like inside the bunker in these doors. A lot of different places they could be, right? So if you can confuse them, start opening doors, running around, jumping through doors, going above, right? And then maybe we just drop down. And then we just stop. We run over here and then we just stop. That's probably a pretty bad example. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like you just kind of get towards a spot where they wouldn't really expect you to just be hanging out, you know? All right, so there's doors opening. He's running around under my bunker. I don't really know where he's at. And then I go ahead and stop. Okay, now it's like, where is he? Is he in here? Like what? 
Where is he? And then right there, right? He could catch me off guard if he had the right angle. That's the idea, right? It's kind of running around, confusing your enemy until you get a nice little shot on him. And a lot of that is going to be through visual and just making a lot of noise, right? Opening these doors is definitely always kind of a confusing thing for people. They think you're coming through the door if you open it. And yeah. All right, so that is pretty much all of my tips and tricks for bunkers, at least that I can think of right now. Now we are going to move into actual gameplay examples. I'm gonna be showing you those tips and tricks in action, in actual gameplay. So you're gonna see how I apply all my bunker tactics in real gameplay. We're gonna have a link to that video at the end of this video. It's going to be bunker fight examples, but really quick before we jump into it, please consider liking this video. It really helps me out. Using code Toby Wan Shinobi in your Fortnite item shop and checking out my must watch playlist for Fortnite Zero Build if you haven't already. All right guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.